Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to install OS X El Capitan on a Umana PC. It's going to be installed on a USB. Go to this link and get the torrent and download it. Then you are going to need 132 disk imager. Open the image. It'll be called OSX El Capitan for Intel PCs.raw and open it and just click right then that's it. And now I've already wrote in the image so I don't have to click right. Then that's it. The second step is to have the USB in your computer and just turn it on and just boot from it you'll need to click whatever brand name uh, your USB is and if it doesn't boot, then you'll need to change the BIOS boot from UEFI to CSMR Legacy, or whatever it says. Sometimes it's it says Windows 8 mode, if you have that type of computer. And then just boot from it by pressing Enter. And just wait for it. Okay, it is booting. Oh. Okay, it might do this, but it's gonna work. Okay, it might take some time, but you'll come up to a screen that looks like this. Damn it. There's the mouse. Just click the arrow. Then you wanna click utilities, then then disk utility. And you'll come up to your drive. And it's gonna just partition it. You're going, if it's master boot record, then you'll need to click erase, then do OSX extended journal. And it'll do GUID partition map. And this will erase all the data on the disk. So if you want to keep your data, just make a new partition. But I can't with since it's master boot record, so I'll just erase it. And just wait for it. Then it's done. Just close it. Click continue. And click continue again. Then click agree. Then click the name, the whatever disk this one the install one will be this one is called untitled so yes and just wait for it to install okay once it's done just let it reboot then just click, click the right arrow 
then press enter. And I'll boot from this disk. Oh, and if the screen goes black, you'll have to do something that'll show you in a few minutes. Okay, so the screen went black and I'll show you how to fix that now. Just turn off the computer. There we go. Then turn it on again. Then boot it from the USB. Okay, and put it from the install disk. Okay, so the next part of this is to go back into the installer. Okay, once this in the install installer, you are going to need to do something different. Instead of going to disk utility, you need to go to terminal. And let me type in the command. Okay, you want to type in this command cd slash capital v volumes then type in ls then you want to find the the disk you installed with 6 on mine is untitled right there i'm going to type in cd untitled Here. Then CD system slash. Okay, then library, then slash extensions, just like that, or it will not work. Then type in rm dash r mm. apple. <sighs> Intel Oops Intel Hey, we can cast off A Frame But without the E Then an like little asterisk Then enter then ring up the same command with the up arrow. Then delete the frame and asterisk. And then type in H D. Then another another asterisk. <laughs> oh, what this asterisk does it is it removes all the files with. The, starting with that name. And that is it. Just close it out and shut down. 
It'll take a little bit. Once you shut it down, just turn it back on or just restart it. Then boot from Untitled or or whatever disk you installed it on, and just wait for it to load. Okay, once it's in this screen, and you may see uh, some graphical glitches, but that's <laughs> that'll happen. And then just click my computer does not connect to the internet. Then click continue. And continue again. And then continue. Then click agree. And click agree again. I'll just let's do whatever. I'm just so once you've done that, just click continue. Just wait for it to finish. And just it's optional, but select the time zone. Yeah, New York. That's the time zone. Just keep clicking continue. Just wait. There. You have it. Yes. It works. And it works. So you can browse files with sex piece. I don't know what, what's with that. Uh, let's see, I told you there'd be graphical glitches. And that's pretty much it. And let's see. This MacBook Air 2.49 gigabytes. Untitled. So it works. And it just is just ten point eleven, nothing fancy. Huh. I wonder why that appeared. It just popped up. Huh. And that's it.